Hey, it's Joe Tamargo, and welcome to the premium DVD of the Whisper Flow Repair. In this DVD and video, I'm going to be showing you how to totally repair the Whisper Flow pump and the motor. We're going to be showing you how to change the bearings, how to change the pump seal. We're going to show you uh, how to access and test the capacitor and it's the good stuff like that. All right. So the first thing we're going to do now is I'm going to go over and show you all the different parts of the pump, and then we're going to break it down step by step. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the capacitor cover. That is this big uh, mounted thing here on top, the, the, the little hump that's on top of the motor. Your capacitor is inside of that. On the rear of the motor, we'll show you a few things here. You have your ground plug, which is where you hook your ground wire. Then you have the, the, uh, the, the rear cover, shaft cover, which just spins like so, just like that. And then you have your electrical cover uh, on the back as well. Then you have your electrical connector. And then moving to the front, you have your diffuser, and then under your, under your diffuser, you have your impeller. And then obviously you can see a couple of gaskets here. Here is your diffuser gasket or O-ring, and here is your seal plate um, O-ring and gasket right there, okay? It's gasket slash O-ring because it's made of the same rubber as an O-ring, but it's a preformed gasket that fixed in the seal housing, okay? So those are parts of the pump. Now, what's the difference between a seal housing and the pump, right? People say, well, I thought this whole thing was a pump. No, well, see, everything plastic is your pump going forward, and everything behind that is your motor going back, okay? So the, this is the motor, and this is the pump end, okay, just like that, all right? So there you go. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the diffuser. Now, in order to remove the diffuser, we need an Allen key to stick inside there. Now, if you don't have an Allen key that fits inside there, you can also use a really small pair of channel locks uh, on the sides, okay? Or you can use an Allen key, one or the other. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come up close, and we're going to show you how to remove these uh, bolts from the diffuser plate and what they look like when they're removed and what they look like up close and everything like that. And that will allow us to remove the diffuser plate. Okay, so here, what we're going to do first, we're going to remove this O-ring, just like that. Okay, that's the diffuser O-ring. I'm going to place it on the side of the table. Okay, we'll shave that for later. What you want to do, if you want to inspect it, you want to pull it like this. Okay, just like that. Okay, and that will tell you if it's good. If it snaps, that means it's bad and you need to replace it. If you pull it a couple times and you go to put it back on, and it's all stretched out and it doesn't fit on there, and maybe it's, see, this one fits back on nice, so it's still good. But if it's hanging or it's really loose, that means you need to change the O-ring as well. All right, so there's how you remove and check the O-ring. And what we're going to do now is come up close and show you how to remove the diffuser bolts.